Hi, I'm Bert. Hey, I'm Soup Man. And uh, this is a Stoner Foodie Review. Um, man, I am stoned still. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but we may, we may have uh, filmed a couple of these episodes. <laughs> uh, dude, yeah, we're, uh, we've got some interesting snacks here. Some unidentified yeah, flavor. Yeah. Unidentified flavored objects. Except it's it's, it's unusually uh, it's amber. unusual. Unusually flavored objects. Flavored objects. Flavored objects. See, and it's flavor. They put the the U in there. The fancy flavor. What it is is these are um, Fijian. And yep. uh, I got a friend. I got a couple friends who died in the flight to Fiji. So uh, prayers out to them. Every time I say Fiji, I just gotta think of them. So for my friends that see me, the Prasads, the Meat Deal. Uh, you're in my thoughts, but these are from Fiji. And they um, are uh, hamburger flavored snacks. Yeah. Um, and I guess they're like little UFO shapes. Yeah, so, I guess. Know, like, yeah, I guess I guess that's the thing. I've been excited to try these. So yeah, we, we've been stoked on these ones since we saw all the stuff that we're going to try today. And <laughs> we, we tried a potato chip earlier this week that was off the fucking chains, and so... I'm waiting to see how these compare. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to see, like, at flavors, what level they smell. actually taste like burgers, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, flavors, smell. Because we've had some chips on the show that fucking, hey, tasted exactly like what they said they would, you know? And it's like, yeah. When I think um, of a good burger, it might be a little greasy. You might get somebody's hair in there. So like, Yeah, yeah, that guy that's spitting your food, you know? That didn't <laughs> Do I like taste you? a little bit? Because you had to order a liter of cola. Yeah, exactly. Know? Or I asked him yeah. to recook my fries and yeah. no salt. You know, whoever that asshole is. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I I'm that asshole. I <laughs> I don't like fries, no salt, so they're fresh. I'll, uh, I'll do fuckers. that with the burgers, too. Uh, I'll be like, no salt on the burgers. Like, so I don't do no salt. I always one. custom it and make it custom. Uh -huh. So you add mayo, and you, you can always yeah. add stuff that's yeah, yeah. free. That's the trick. Yeah, absolutely. We gotta anyway, get high. Yeah, we gotta get high. And we have some dirty white girl that we're smoking on. Whoa, usually I'm licking or kissing on them, not smoking on them. Whoa, this is different. Hold Man, on. then you haven't lived. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't lived to you, you smoke gotta smoke one. on a dirty Whoa. white girl. <laughs> You may not live if you smoke one. That's what I heard. Hold on. Gotta be careful. <laughs> then Pack Highway and Aurora. Dirty <laughs> White Girls. Wrong, wrong Dirty White Girls. <laughs> or the right ones. I, mean, I, mean, I don't judge. No. Yeah, it's all good. All works. Good work. Yeah, no, that's like work, right? All right. I'm, I need to at least open these and smell them. I need to see what they smell like. <laughs> what they look like, too. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Let me tell you, this does taste like a dirty white girl. I'm not impressed. <laughs> if you will know, it was cheap. Okay. So cheap, dirty a dirty white girl. A dirty white girl. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, well, these look like shit. Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to smell that. <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't ready. My nose works today. You know what they smell like? Hmm. The fucking tomato chips. Okay. All right. I mean, not the same, but we did some tomato chips this week. I'm gonna get in on that now. <laughs> They've got a vinegary smell. I don't smell any beef or anything. Like I, just, I guess we'll see. I don't know, man. They got that Mexican. What are the Mexican little things that you get in the big old bags? They look like smaller versions of those. Okay. Shoo, let's try that. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, I need a second on that. <laughs> I gotta collect my thoughts on that one. I think I'm hungry and I'm high. <laughs> That's what I think I am. They're not. They don't. They're not bad. I'm just trying to describe them. A. You don't really taste like a hamburger. Or <laughs> not, what, not what we would consider a hamburger in the United States. 
Yes and no. I, I there is that. a bit of beef there's that, like, that, and some tomato. I was going to say, there's that hint of a shitty, a shitty McDonald's 29 cent hamburger. Remember the cheap ones? And maybe a tiny bit of like a mustard flavor almost. You got a bun flavor. You got a hint of meat. Then you got some tang and some citrus like mustard. Yeah. And tomato. I mean, yeah, I guess it, I mean, it just takes a sec for all that because like that's a lot of different flavors to sort of process. No, I taste it all. It's good and the texture is nice. What it is is it's the texture. Yeah. I think everything today has been killing us on the texture. Factor. It really has been. Yeah. So far, like, the, that's been kind of my favorite part. Because when I think about American snacks, right, there's a huge difference between the quality of Doritos versus Safeway tortilla chips or, you know, Mr. Knockoff's mm -hmm. hot fries versus the Cheeto hot fries, right? What I'm tasting here, and maybe these are the best products from the, the, whatever country it is, Fiji or Jordan or yeah, whatever. Yeah, who knows, yeah. But... The texture across the board on all these things has been very well. Yeah, I agree. And I tend to find that's actually when we do our like um, our universal boxes and stuff like that. Um, I've noticed that a lot too. You know, they especially they tend to go for flavors and textures that we just don't even consider here. You and then know, another the thing, States. this is this is again something you can send to grandma. Yeah, something you can sure. send to grandpa. You know what I also like about this? Do you know who I'd love to give these to? Hmm. Babies. Kids. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they could, yeah. They, the first I mean, up, there's not a lot of coating on here. They're not very, it is, they're it is, not very dirty. And this would be easy for, like, a, a younger, someone who's teething, like, you know, like, Bingo. Um, someone who's just getting into their first snacks and stuff. Um, Something non. Yeah. And, then. Um, that might yeah, help with some of their development of flavor and taste and stuff like that because that's got it's got a lot of flavor to it. Like in a good way. This is definitely a UFO because I'm unexpectedly finding this optimistic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like these. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, I know. I got you. You got to push the button. Mm -hmm. So overall, I'm going to say this is pretty fucking good. Yeah. I had 4 out of 4, 4.4 4 out of 5 on Google, on Amazon. That's like an 8.8 8 out of 10. I will say, too, like, though, don't get them off of Amazon. Like, they were way overpriced as compared to where we actually found them. So, like, check your local, um, like, you know, um, multicultural marketplaces and stuff like that. Because these were only two bucks at at the store and i definitely for two bucks yeah two dollars you can smash that i mean this whole bag yeah and it's not it's it's not healthy but it's not anywhere near as bad for you as some of the other shit we eat so yeah i uh, yeah i'm definitely giving thumbs up on that good job oh is that pg right pg all right we'll see you i've been suit man and i'm bert and this is stoner foodie review thank you guys for joining us today make sure you click like subscribe share with your friends Check out his pages and his uh, stuff on Facebook, YouTube, you know, all over the place. Um, and uh, have a good one.